Hey, it's Daryl, your Modern Work Mentor. What's changed in OneDrive recently? It is the sharing window. When we go to share a file, um, it looks kind of different. And I just wanted to show you a few changes about how to navigate through it. Um, firstly, it was a message in the message center. Shout out to Petri for their unofficial change log. Uh, so you can catch up with that message. It is um, ID MC560718. Uh, but what does this actually look like? Well, it's, it's interesting. It caught me by surprise. I went to go and to share a file and, and attach it to a, an email. So the sharing dialog looks a little like this. Um, it's simplified, it's a lot smaller, it is really pushing you towards sharing it via email to begin with. And perhaps with telemetry, that is exactly what Microsoft sees is most people are just sharing it using an email. What I like to do is copy a link. Uh, but I know that I need to copy this link and share it out to people um, outside of the organization. And I want to have a little control over the anyone link. So some of the options that I'm looking for are kind of hidden, they're tucked away. Uh, this is really uh, picking up on my default sharing settings for my organization that I share within my organization. It is an edit link. Uh, and uh, great, if those are my defaults, then I can click copy and that will be the case. I've got a link, I can share it, that's fine. Um, I could then you know, drop in uh, a name of a person that I want to share it with, someone within my organization, uh, and that's, that'll get me around uh, to, to share that file. But as I said, I want to change a few things and they're all tucked away. So where, where are these things? Um, I want to create an anyone link and I want to be able to share it. And it's all under this sharing um, settings or the dialogue, or rather the, the cog there, the settings cog. Clicking there is what I'm used to seeing if I click on the link and I, and I want to find and change that permission. And so I want to choose the anyone permission. I want to um, set a uh, expiry of, I don't know, three weeks, for example. I could drop in a password, but these are the sorts of things that I want to do to be able to share this link. Um, so that's fine. I've got that link. I can now take it over, pop it into an email, pop it into a Teams chat uh, and share it that way. Uh, so it's something to be mindful of, isn't it? Like if we go back and, and uh, have a look at those settings again, the default is it'll pop up, it'll pick up on your sharing defaults for your organization. Uh, and if you want to change the type of link, the type of permission, you need to click on the settings cog. I would have hoped to have been able to click on maybe the words down here so that I could go straight through to that dialogue because that's that's kind of what I wanted to change. Uh, but you do need to jump into here and create an anyone link that way. Uh, so copying that link, I'll drop it into my email and send it off. Just thought I'd let you know that sort of change is, is probably going to confuse a few people as it's arriving now. Um, uh, going back to that article uh, from Petri, it, is, uh, it was only just published uh, very recently and the change is starting to arrive now. So targeted release uh, rolling out in May expected to be completed mid-July. So that's now-ish. And standard release, uh, it'll be rolling out mid-July completed late August. Let people know about this change uh, as uh, they need to prepare to share files from OneDrive. That's Daryl as a service. If you like these kinds of tips, you know where to find me, you know what to do. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.